Greetings, my statistics friends. This video is for chapter 10 and the homework set number 7. And that corresponds with section 10.5, problem number 4 from the homework. And this is an ANOVA, A-N-O-V-A, specifically a one-way ANOVA, uh, test of means. So we are given three random samples, a random sample company from Electric Utilities, for Part I is Financial Services, Part Two is Food Processing, and Three is, uh, oh, sorry, I is Utilities, uh, Financial Services is Two, and Food Processing is Three. And uh, these are annual profits per employee units in thousands of dollars. So what we're going to do uh, in the past was we could have done a t-test to see if one was different than two and one was different than three and then two was different than three right so we'd have to do a specific test to see if one of these were different than the others but with ANOVA we can test all of those at the same time so shall we reject or not reject the claim that there is no difference in the population mean and annual profits per employee at each of these three of companies we're supposed to use a 10% level of significance. So part A, what is the level of significance would be 0.10 because that's the 10%. And then state the null and alternative hypothesis. So the null hypothesis is that uh, the three are equal. So and then uh, the alternative is that at least one of them is not equal. So here for HO, all of them are equal. And then the alternative is that at least one is different. So that all three means are different, that's not it. Not all the means are equal. Exactly two means are equal, that's not it. At least two means are equal, that's not it. So not all of them are equal. So not all of them are equal. So HO is that they're all equal, and H1 is that at least one is not equal, or not all of the means are equal. All right, so then let's move on to part B. So we're asked to find all these things, this SS total, SSBET, SSW, DFBET, DFW, MSBET, MSW. What in the world do all those things mean? All right, so first of all, this SS total stands for sum of squares total. And it's the total of SSBET plus SSW. So we'll find these two numbers first, add them together to get SS total. SSBET stands for the sum of the squares between the group's uh, variables. And the SSW stands for the sum of squares within the groups. Okay, so let's do those two first. Then we'll move on to degrees of freedom and MS, which stands for mean square. So how do we do this? Well, I'm going to use my calculator. And what I did in my calculator was I put group I in list 1, group 2, list 2 in L2, and this third list in L3. So let me show you. I went to stats and edit the list. So I put the I in L1, and the II in the L2, and the III in L3. I carefully did that. So once again, those three lists correspond to these three lists. So then in my calculator, I do second quit to go back to the home screen, and I do stats over to test. And at the very bottom of my list, I should have ANOVA. It's the very last thing on the list. And in fact, if I go too far, I get to the top of the list. So it's just easier sometimes to push up one and I get to the, the bottom of it. But that's the one I want, ANOVA. So then what I do is I do second and then L1, comma, second and then L2, comma, and then second, and then L3, and put a parenthesis at the end. So I have ANOVA, list one, comma, list two, comma, list three. Then I hit enter. And I get this one-way ANOVA readout, and there's lots of stuff listed on here. 
Well, the first thing I see is that there is uh, no BET or no W's anywhere, right? Okay, so just remember that on your TI-84 and some softwares, that the BET, which stands for Between Group Variables, is, uh, is the factor. So factor is BET. And the W, which is within the groups, that's the error. So factor is BET and uh, W is the error. So the first thing I need is this SS factor, which is SSBET. So that's 221.094, if I round to three decimal places, which I think is what it wants me to do. So this uh, is 221.094. So I'm going to double check that. 221.094. So that's the factor, which is the same as the BET for the sum of squares. And then I want the sum of squares for the W, which is within the group, and that's the error in my calculator. So that is 2039.077. 2039.077. 2039.077. So double check that. 2039.077 to three decimal places. So again, error is the same as within group, and factor is the same as between the group. So I'll do the total at the end. So then the degrees of freedom for between the group, or the factor. So I look at my calculator, and it tells me that that's 2. And then the degrees of freedom for the error, or within the group, 15, so I put in 15, and then uh, the, the mean square for the BET, which is uh, the factor, mean square is 110.547, 110.547. And then the mean square for the error within the group is, I'm going to scroll down, 135.938, 135.938, so 135.938. And then it wants me to find the value of the sample F statistic. So that was up at the top. The F statistic is 0 0.8132. 0 0.8132. Well, three decimal places. So 0 0.8132, but to three decimal places would just be 813. And then uh, the degrees of freedom for the numerator and the denominator. Well, a shortcut is, in this case, this is always going to be a percentage less than 1. So the numerator is going to be the smaller number, and the denominator is going to be the bigger number. Or you can remember that the numerator is the same as between the groups, and the denominator is within the groups. But I always just remember that the smaller number is going to go on top. So it's going to be 2 over 15. Because that always has to be a fraction less than 1, and if the bigger number was on top, it would be bigger than 1. And then the p-value, I look, is a 0.4621 to 4 decimal places. So 0 0.4621 to 2 decimal places. And then that's all of the, the numbers I put in. I'm going to fill this chart out in a second. But then I also need this SS total. So to find the SS total, all I do is just add those two numbers together. Equals 2060.171. So that's the SS total. By the way, that's an error that I didn't actually figure out until the end of the problem. I accidentally typed in my calculator 21.094 plus 2039.077. So that was an error. The correct answer is actually 
221.2260.171. When you add the 200, so 221.094, which is correct. So the correct answer would be 2260.171, but I don't find that error until the end of this video. Okay, so based on your answers in part A to C, will you reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis? So our p-value is quite big, right? Our p-value is uh, almost uh, 4.6, 4.621 in fact. So that is way bigger than uh, 0.1. So if our p-value is uh, big, we fail to reject. So since the p-value is greater than the level of uh, significance, uh, we do not reject. We fail to reject. And the other option would be the p-value is greater than we reject, right? So that's not the correct answer. When the p-value is bigger, then we don't reject it. And then, so what does that result mean? So, in the context of this application, at the 10% level of, of significance, there is insufficient evidence to conclude that the means are not equal. So, when we reject, we are, when we fail to reject, which is what we're doing, we do not reject, we fail to reject, uh, we are then saying we're not sure if this is the case or not. So there's insufficient evidence to say that the means are not equal, insufficient. Okay, so then we can fill this table out there. So the sum of the squares between the groups was uh, this number. So I'm gonna copy and paste it. do all those things and then the test decision was uh, we do not reject we failed to reject as our p-value is bigger than 0.1 okay so I'm gonna submit my answer and cross my fingers that I didn't make any mistakes and let's see what I get so it looks like all my answers are correct except for this total so I'm curious of why that is. So I'm going to double check my math to make sure that I have that right. Oh, I typed it in wrong. Isn't that terrible? I accidentally typed it in wrong. So it is uh, 221.094 plus 2039.077. And I get 2260.171. So I did all the hard part correctly, but to come to the easy part, and I goofed that up. So I'll change those two numbers, because I accidentally just typed in 21.094 when I added them together. So this is why we get multiple submissions, because in case we make a mistake like that. So I'm going to submit my answer again. And this time, I got a perfect score. Okay, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know.